Hello, I'm Sean Roberts, Chief Technologist for Lincoln Network, and this is Lincoln Shorts. Earlier today, I had the opportunity to speak with Kim Wyman, Washington Secretary of State, and this is our conversation. But I, I will say one of the things I, I forgot to mention was, you know, one of the things election officials across the country have been very concerned about before we ever got into 2020 was um, was misinformation and disinformation. And we we knew from what happened in 2016 that that was coming from foreign actors. And certainly this year we we found a whole bunch of people that are Americans, uh, including the uh, person who sits in the White House, who uh, have you know shared information that isn't necessarily correct or accurate. And so one of the things that the Association of Secretaries of State and the Association of State Election Directors have done in partnership with each other is Trusted Info 2020. And it's a hashtag. And the idea is to really drive voters and, uh, you know, and the public to trusted sources of information, you know, news outlets and Secretary of State's offices or election offices across the, you know, across your state, go there for information. Don't, uh, don't take a third party's advice on, uh, on anything related to the election until you have it verified at a trusted source. Of course. And obviously going uh, to your own state's um, elections officials or maybe even better, your own county is always going to be the, the best route because obviously the laws and rules are different from state to state. It, that that is that is a, probably the most true statement. Absolutely, the laws related to elections are so different state to state. And just because you could do something, you know, in the state you used to live in, uh, doesn't mean the current state is going to allow that. In fact, I just side note, I just had a uh, I was at a doctor's appointment talking to the nurse, and the nurse was like, you know, where's my polling place? I said, you're not from around here, are you? She looked at me really oddly. And I said, no, we, we vote by mail here. And her eyes must have gotten this big. She's like, what? I said, yeah. So I had to kind of talk her off the ledge and explain to her how vote by mail worked and that she'd get a ballot. And and by the end, she was convinced. But uh, but boy, when you move from one state to another, the laws can be completely different. And, and people should really take the time to find out what uh, what those laws are. Make a plan. Uh, you know, really, that's that's kind of the message we're all trying to send to is make a plan for how you're going to vote and do it now. Uh, give yourself a lot of time before Election Day. The personal story of Secretary Kim Wyman informing the voters, voter at a time. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, Kim. This has been a wonderful conversation. Uh, very informative. Thank you for being so generous with your time. I really appreciate okay. it. Thank you for interviewing me. This, this was a great conversation. Take Excellent. care. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us. This has been Lincoln Shorts.